Everything was quiet that day in the kingdom. The air hung heavy and damp around the castle. Little did I know when I rode off of the peril in which I left my daughter, the Princess Irene. But affairs of state were pressing. Those four walls would be strong enough to protect my child. And besides, Irene had always been safe. Safe in the hands of her devoted nanny. Oh, Irene! Princess Irene! Irene! <laughs> Look, come on out. I know you're here somewhere. Oh, all right. I'll just have to wait. Oh, she's a lovely girl. Really regal. Well, she would be, wouldn't she? What with her being a princess. No, Turnip, don't. You mustn't do that. You know what loot is like. She's always worried about strange things. Oh, strange things. You never know when they might happen. Oh, now her father said, watch over her. Oh, it's getting late. Oh, I must find... Oh, good. I think she's asleep. Come on, Turnip. Come on, Mr. Mole. He won't hurt you, silly.
Someone there. Who is it? Look, Turnip. It's a boy. Are you all right? Yes, I think so. You look all right. I was a bit frightened, that's all. Frightened? You don't have to be frightened now. There's one thing they can't stand. It's a song. They hate music. La 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 la. <laughs> See? That's what you do when you meet a goblin, or one of their little pets. Goblins? Pets? Sure. Everyone knows about the goblins and their pets. Except people from the castle. Oh. You're from the castle, right? Yes. And you don't know the way back? No. Typical. Come on, follow me. Those goblins aren't so bad if you know how to deal with them. But they were horrible. I guess they are a little creepy. But you shouldn't run away. You have to face them and sing. Of course, singing doesn't always work down there. Down where? Underground, in the mines. The mines? Yeah, where they live, where my father works. Don't they teach you anything in that castle of yours? Of course they do. Reading, writing, arithmetic. Arithmetic? Great. That'll help with the goblins. At least you'll be able to count them. Irene! Irene! Lutie! Oh dear, she'll be worried about me. Well, I'll leave you here. You'll be safe now. See you again, um... Irene! See you again, Irene. Let me give you a kiss to thank you. A kiss? What are you doing? Princess? You didn't tell me you were a princess. You didn't ask. Well, I, I gotta go. They need me at home. Irene, there you are. Wait! You didn't tell me your name. Curdy! It's Curdy! Curdy. Princess, you silly girl. Oh, Lutie, it was horrible. Some goblin creatures chased us. Oh, goblin creatures, oh, nonsense. But, Lutie, it's true. Now, don't you, Lutie, me. You've been a naughty girl wandering off like that. Something could have happened to you. But, Lutie, something did. Princess, what are you good? Oh, no, oh, oh, help! Ah, ah! <laughs> Irene, Irene, where are you? Hello, Lutie. Don't worry, I'll help you. Come on, up you get. Oh. You know, you should be more careful. Well, what are you going to do today? Oh, Lutie. Can't I play outside? No, so you can't. Not after last night. But, Lutie, now I know what to do if I meet some goblins. Oh, don't talk to me about goblins. They don't exist. <coughs> oh! Are you hurt? The, what? You know, Lutie, you work too hard. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be all right. Rest? Oh, well, yes. Oh, maybe you're right. 
Dab, don't you try and sneak outside to see that boy. Oh, ah, ah. Turnip? Turnip, where are you? Turnip? Turnip? How could you get in there? A door. A magic door. <coughs> oh, Turnip, it's all right. I'm here, don't worry. Now, what have you found? No need to be frightened of me, Irene. How does she know my name? I know your name because it's the same as mine. Irene. Well, I'm not talking to you. Lucy told me never to talk to strangers. But I'm your great, great grandmother. I haven't got a great, 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 great grandmother. <laughs> Not as great as all that. She must be terribly old. Oh, yes. <laughs> Older than you can imagine. If you're really my great great grandmother, why haven't I been told about you? Not everybody knows that I'm here. You mean you're not a real person? Well. You're not just a dream, are you, grandmother? <laughs> Or not, then you must be a ghost. There, there's nothing to be frightened of. I'm not exactly a ghost, but I'm not real either. You mean you're sort of magic? Yes, in a way I am. Like the rose on the window that burst into flames? Yes. I put the roses there to lead you to me. I thought you might need my help. Oh, I do need help sometimes, Grandmother. Lutie's very kind, but she's no good at homework. I didn't mean that sort of help. Well, what sort of help do you mean? Everyone needs help when they're in trouble. Am I in trouble, Grandmother? I fear you soon will be, my child. But remember, I'll be here when you need me, though you may not always be able to see me. Irene! Irene! Oh, where is that girl? Grandmother! Grandmother! 
Grandmother, where are you? Irene! Oh, that girl will be in trouble when I find her. Oh, that princess is such a strain. What with that boy and his stories about goblins? And then hiding to make me worried sick. Oh, I'm fed up with these stuff. But I did promise the king I'd look after her. Oh, and the princess doesn't mean any harm. She's only a child. Poor girl. What with her mother dead? Oh. Oh, these steps. That's the trouble with castles. There's too many blooming steps. Oh, Princess Irene! Are you looking for me? What? What? Where have you been, you naughty princess? I've been to see my grandmother. But you haven't got a grandmother. So I sang as loud as I could, just like you told me to. And then all of them, all of them stopped in their tracks, every one of them. So I sang louder and louder. <laughs> and those slimy little monsters just ran away, leaving this girl who said she was a princess. A princess? Yeah. That was a brave thing you did, son. But look out for those goblins. They're evil. If they want something, nothing will stop them. Not even your singing. Take a break, Curdy. You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, really, Curdy. That's heavy work for a boy your age. It only hit my head. <laughs> His head? Only your head? What a shame. Because if it hit somewhere painful, you couldn't work. I'd have to report you to Prince Froglip, wouldn't I? <laughs> Get on with you! Get on! <laughs> Nasty things to people. What sort of things? What sort of things? What sort of things? What's the matter with you? Haven't you got any imagination? Of course I haven't got any imagination. Well, what's the most sensitive part of your body? Don't be stupid. 
my feet, of course. Well, what would the Prince Froglip do with them, then? Oh, uh, he, he stamps on your feet! What he means, fathead. Silence! Oh, th thank you, my dear. Uh, uh, I thought I was saying, Will. Uh, uh, Get rid of the sudden people, stupid! <laughs> yeah, yeah, then we'll, we'll get rid of the sun people for. Uh, 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 uh. No! It's not enough! <gasps> <laughs> Oh, it's been struggling! Oh, no. Struggling. What do you mean? Not enough. Not enough, my little monstrosity. No, Mother, it is not. <laughs> Didn't you once tell me that hundreds of years ago we lived above the ground? That's <laughs> right, my little idiosity. But we were driven underground, weren't we? Because above ground, we were forced to obey law. To help others. To be friendly to people. <laughs> Impossible. How could we possibly live with these sun people? Sniveling, cowardly creatures with soft feelings and and soft heads. <laughs> That's all very well, my son. But I... Uh, 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 <laughs> Will you just shut up for a minute? What do you mean, my beastly little boy? <laughs> That's simple, Mother. We should do something much nastier than flood their minds. We should take revenge! We should move above ground, take them all prisoner, and bring them underground with us. I want to have them eating the dirt from under my fingernails! Hey! Oh, what a malicious little majesty he is! Yeah, but, but how can we? Uh, 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 uh. It's quite simple. First, we have to dig a tunnel. <laughs> and then, and this is a really good bit, we creep along the tunnel. What is it? What are they going to do? Yeah! Brilliant! Yeah! We'll, uh... Uh, uh, They're going to flood our mine. 
But there's so much water, they'll drown Dad. I have to warn him. But what was Froglip talking about? Some kind of plan. Oh no! Thank God you're safe. Father. Father. It's the king. It's the king. The king's arrived. It's the king. Father, father. Yes, my child. I'm here. Here. Take my horse. I'm so glad you're back, father. Are you going to stay this time? Yes, of course. Come on. You can tell me all your news. I've been up to the tower to see my great-grandmother. She's called Irene, just like me. What? But you knew she was here, didn't you? I didn't know she was here now. Then it must have been a dream after all. No, it wasn't. This is one of her pigeons. Yes. I'm sure it wasn't a dream. I hear you were out late one evening. Yes. I got lost. I was chased by some strange creatures. Strange creatures? Yes. A boy I met said it was the goblins. Goblins? Here? Yes. But I thought those were only miners' tales. Then they must be true. Don't worry, my child. I won't be going away again. God! God! Guard against something that doesn't exist. Yeah. But how are we going to recognize one when we see one? One could walk right up to us and we wouldn't know what it was. Yeah. What's that noise? Oh. It could be one of those things. Only they don't exist.
grandmother's spinning wheel. She said she'd be here if I was in trouble. Grandmother? I'm sure I heard her spinning. Come on, Grandmother. I know you're here somewhere. Come in, Irene. My child, you're cold and wet. I'll light a fire for you. Wonderful. Do some more magic. I didn't bring you here to show you empty tricks. Come closer. Ow! My poor girl, you're hurt. Yes. A strange creature came into the castle and clawed my hand. A strange creature in the castle. Things are already worse than I thought. Grandmother, that's better. It's time to show you what I've been spinning for you. For me? Yes. Oh, Grandmother. It will protect you from danger, my child. But you'll look after me, Grandmother. Whatever danger I'm in, you'll protect me with your magic. Yes, but my magic may not be enough. What do you mean? You may need a different sort of magic. The sort of magic that is inside everyone, if they dare to find it. You mean, like, being brave? It's more than just being brave, my child. It is the magic of good against evil, of right against wrong, of doing what you think is right, even when nobody else will help you. I won't need that sort of magic, Grandmother. Because you'll be here. Oh, yes, I'll be here. But there'll come a time when you won't need me, because you've found your own magic. Here. This is what I have been spinning for you. It's very pretty, Grandmother. But I'm not very good at sewing. <laughs> this thread isn't for sewing. What a lovely ring! I don't understand, Grandmother. I thought you were giving me the thread. I am. And you've still got it. I've tied it to your ring. Where? It's so fine, you can barely see it. But you'll be able to feel it all right. Use it when you're in trouble. You'll find your own magic if you just follow the thread. Just follow the thread. If you tie one end to a rock, then you'll always be able to find your way back. Oh, be careful, dear. Can't you wait till morning? Oh, all right. I'll go when it's light. But I have to go. Someone needs to find out what the goblins are up to. He doesn't know his way around down there. I'll have to go. out their plan. Oh my god. 
where the goblins live. Promising. What an amazing tunnel. How's it going, Wartface? <laughs> What's that? Well, she's got <laughs> They're called toes, stupid. Yeah, well, we'll have to get rid of them then, won't we? <laughs> she's ugly. We'll make sure the creature's always covered up. So our little froglet doesn't have to look it. Isn't that right, my little immorality? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, Mother, isn't it true that the fun people are called that because they need the fun? Ah, oh, such cleverness in such a wicked brain. So, if they are deprived of the fun, they will become more like us. Oh, what willful wisdom! Though I shall keep her here underground until her head grows to stone and her skin grows like a wrinkled prune. Uh, but I may have to suffer, but it will be for the good of all goblins. Yeah, because who, who? Because whoever marries the Princess Irene will become King of the Sutton Peoples! The Princess Irene? That's funny. Did you hear anything? Oh, a sun boy! Get him! Hit him! Hurt him! Hurt him! Just passing through. Let me have him. Oh, please, let me have him. I could do such nasty things to him. We'll think about that later. God! Yeah. Call the God! <laughs> this is goblin hospitality. <laughs> I think he's frightened, Mother. Frightened? It'll take more than a few goblins to make me frightened. Get back, you creep! <laughs> Marvelous! A fight! All right, Rockhead. Watch out for your feet! Outrageous! Oh, outrageous! Get back! Move over! Travel with you, sun people, is your soft, oh. soft in your flesh, oh. soft in your heart, oh. and soft in the head. Oh. Ah. But I can still sing. <laughs> Jeez. Stop it! Stop it! I can't! Stop it! That noise! That noise! That noise! Push that boulder! Yes, trap it! I 
Crush him! Crush him! <laughs> Don't worry. He won't be able to sing forever. Soon he will be too weak. Then we can do whatever we like with him. It's no good. It won't budge. Oh, my legs. My legs. I have to keep singing. Whatever happens, I must keep singing. There's a spark inside us that we can all ignite. And all that's dark inside us will flicker into light.
I'll never get through there. Perhaps it's caught on something. It's stuck. Oh, turn it. Now what do we do? I know. I'll follow it back. Now where's it gone? We'll never find our way out of here. Never. <laughs> we could keep him in the darkness forever. And then his head would turn to what like ours, and his skin grow wrinkled and warty. No, that is a hideosity. It's too dangerous. <laughs> what if he should escape and warn the others? No, we'll wait till he's too weak to sing. Then we'll kill him. Mother, please! Oh, can't we keep him? I could do such nasty things to him. I really could. Be patient. It'll be different when you marry their puny little princess. You'll see. Then you can have as many of the sun people as you like and do what you want with them. <gasps> oh, outrageous! Oh, Mother, you're so monstrous! <laughs> Sleep well, my son. Good night. <sighs> Just this one small news. Uh, would you mind taking off your shoes before you get into bed? It's the stone. Oh, I've got these. Ah, oh, 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 all right, then. Uh, please yourself. to do. Follow the thread through this pile of rocks. There must be a way through. Through there. It's that boy. It can't be. Is that you, Cardi? What was that? There. It's me, Irene. Irene? Here? Push against this rock. I think it'll shift. But I've tried that already. Please. All right, Princess. I'll try. Oh. Cuddy, are you all right? I think so. Try again. I'm sure it'll budge. Stand back! <laughs> Quick, we've got to get out of here. Come on. Are you crazy? That's where the goblins are. It's all right. I've got the thread. Thread? What thread? The one Grandmother gave me, silly. Silly? Me? <laughs> I must be out of my mind. The goblins half kill me, and I go straight back in there. And all because of a girl. Irene, where are you? Through here. Huh? This wasn't here before. I'm coming! Wait for me! Take your cat everywhere with you? Of course. He's the only friend I've got. Except for you. Me? We are friends, aren't we? Well, I guess so, Princess. Don't keep calling me Princess. I am human, you know. Oh, yeah? What do you mean? Well, how come you found me? Underground. Right in the middle of the mountain. Simple. I followed Grandmother's thread. Come on. Thread? Grandmother? 
How did I find you then? Do you think a little goblin told me? He didn't, did he? No, silly. You're the one that's silly. Oh, You're walking straight uh, back into trouble. But I'm following the thread. Come on. But I can't see your dumb thread. Irene, stop! The Goblin King, see? You've brought us right into the royal bedroom. <laughs> the royal bedroom. Hey, hang on a minute. The Queen's shoes. about the goblins. Come and meet Grandmother. She'll know what to do. Oh, no. When you see her for yourself, you'll have to believe in her. Come on, this way. Grandmother, I've brought someone to see you. Well? I don't see any grandmother. She's here somewhere. She's... she's just invisible at the moment. Your grandmother's invisible? Yes. But she is here. I know she is. Look, I'm glad you rescued me, but I don't have time to play games. This isn't a game! No, it's dead serious. The goblins have a plan and you're a part of it. We can't waste our time with invisible grandmothers. You don't believe me, do you? Well... But I thought we were friends. Friends don't lie to each other. I'm gonna go warn the king. Go ahead. Goodbye, Curdy. 
Goodbye, princess. But I have got a grandmother. I have. Guard! Guard! I have to see the king! Goblins! Stop! Who goes there? Shoot it! It's a boy. Oh, yeah. It's not my fault. How can we see in the dark? Could have been one of those creatures. Yeah. Come on, help me get him inside. Oh, but I was only trying to warn the king. He's raving. Delirious. It's a bad wound, Mon. Yeah. Understand it, Turnip. Grandmother wasn't there when I needed her. And now Curdie thinks I was making it all up. But I'm not, am I? She does exist, doesn't she? She said I'd find my own magic if I followed the thread. That's it. That's what Grandmother meant. She isn't here because she wants me to think for myself. I've got to find my own way of saving us from the goblins. Come on, Turnip! I've got to find my own way of saving us from the goblins. Irene! Irene! Oh, that girl will be in trouble when I find her. Looty! Looty! So there you are. We've been looking for you everywhere. We've been worried sick. Looty, I want to see my father at once. But Princess is a busy man. Looty! Then what with things going on in the kingdom, he won't want to be disturbed. Do as I say. Fetch my father. This is a matter of great importance. But he's in... You heard me. Oh. Well? Take a message to the king, will you? Say the princess needs to see him. Uh, why, yes, of course. Urgently. Oh, uh, at once, your highness. Thank you. Send for the king. Send for the king. So, there you are, my child. Where were you? Father, will you please double the guard? We're in great danger. But why? What danger? Didn't Curdy warn you, Father? Curdy? The mining boy. B b b b sire Quiet. What was he going to warn me about? About the goblins. Please trust me. Of course, my child. Double the guard. At once. Double the guard! Sounds like little creatures scurrying around underground. And that means rats. It's never rats. It's the mountain, that's what it is. Oh, have another drink. Now, don't worry. I know where there's some more. <laughs> Now be quiet, you little ratties. <laughs> What's the matter? You haven't been at the wine, have you? <laughs> Drunken little ratties. <laughs> now be quiet, or I'll set the castle cat on you. <laughs> The goblins. Stop the goblins. Warn the king. Hello, Curdy. 
You know who I am. Irene's grandmother. Yes. Then you're for real. Lie still. I've come to make you better. the princess. You're safe. Cardi! What are you doing here? The goblins are here. Stay inside and lock your door. I'll help fight them off. Can't I come too? No. Stay here where it's safe. You will come back though, won't you? I'll be back. That's a promise! <laughs>
We haven't finished with you yet! Oh, well done, lad. Are you all right? Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Oh, you should rest a moment. Irene's cat. What's this? Where's Froglip? Oh, calm yourself, my boy. What is it? Where's the princess? Where's Irene? The princess? Oh, no. My child, not my child. Irene! Where's the princess? Where's the princess? The princess! Flood the mine! A message from the king! We're ordered to flood the mine! And I can't find Princess Irene. She's not in her room. Find her, my boy. We must find her. Have you seen the princess? No. Why? Get out, quickly! Drop everything and run! I'll check the cellar! Get out, quick, or you're all drowned! Hey, from there. Get out of here. seen the princess? No, your majesty. Then she must still be inside. Irene! Irene! Oh, Irene. My poor little child.
Trust me. Cuddy, look out! Froglin! <laughs> yes! I've come for my princess! <laughs> What's the problem, son boy? Can't you breathe? Stop that! <laughs> Take a last look at it, princess, before I break it. about before about what not believing you I saw your grandmother but I should have believed you anyway I knew she was looking after me Cuddy remember when we first met yes well I made you a promise Irene Irene father Oh, Father. I never saw Irene's great-great-grandmother. But I knew she was there, watching over all of us. 